Hey C3 parents, uh, check it out. Uh, we're excited. We got something we want to share with you guys. It's called Camp. Uh, June 23rd through the 29th. Uh, we're, we're trying to get our students pushed towards camp. We have a lot of different things we have in the works with them. And this is a great opportunity for our kids to grow in their spirituality. And so um, we actually have somebody who has some experience with these camps firsthand, and we'd like to talk to him about that and have him share his experiences with you. Pastor Matt, tell us why camp is important to you. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to have a chance to uh, tell you. Uh, I became a Christian uh, at camp. I mean, I had grown up in church, but when I was in junior high, I got a chance to go to a Christian camp, and it was like a super profound mm -hmm. experience for me. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, I, kind of a couple times, because I felt like uh, the next year, I felt like I, I grew more, and I kind of, I was twice, kind of went forward in, the, in an altar call part and, mm -hmm. and gave my life to Christ. And my life really changed uh, in junior high from it being my parents' faith to this experience at camp uh, mm -hmm. became more like, oh, I, I think it's beginning to sink in for me. Like, I, right. I feel like I start to know right. to know Jesus and care about him, invite Jesus to really be my Lord yeah. of my life. So yeah. my, my priorities really began to shift uh, at a Christian camp. I had a really profound experiences of, of being out in God's creation, right. uh, away from video games. We didn't have cell phones back then, but, uh, <laughs> you know, yeah. we, uh, but away from cell phones, away from video games, yeah. um, uh, away from friends and routines and sports and all these other things that kind of occupied my mind. Right. And we're just out in God's creation, uh, under the stars, hearing really engaging speakers, uh, discussing the material through, uh, you know, through our cabin, like discussions, as well as just having a good time and kind of just being able to be a real relaxing place. I felt like I was really able to open up uh, with my leaders and grow. Later in college, I, I had one summer I got to work on staff at a camp. And that's where I felt called into ministry, actually, uh, as I was a, a, a young Christian college student investing in youth. Uh, it really transformed my life and, uh, and future. Um, later, uh, I've, uh, last year, I sent my kids to camp, and it was a profound experience mm -hmm. for, for Hannah and Peter that, yeah. that really you know, come back way more on fire for Jesus. I find it to be um, uh, just an incredible, uh, helpful thing. These camps, there's like, they gather with youth from all over mm -hmm. California, even kind of out of the state that come. There's really dynamic young uh, Christian people that work at the, stat, at the camps that invest in them. Um, I just think they, they, they kind of, it's like, it's like gathering a lot, of, a lot of different kind of burning embers together. Mm -hmm. uh, they kind of help each other light on fire mm -hmm. in, in a good yeah. way, yeah. you know? Yeah. But don't just take our word for it. Uh, let's hear from two amazing youth who went last summer. Hey Peter, why was camp so meaningful to you? Camp was meaningful because it had meaning. We go there, but it's not just to run around. You know, but we do do that. We, we go on motorbikes, we do zip lines, but that's not why we're there. We're there to, to get closer to Christ. So the best example I have is on Wednesday, we had beach day. We go to the beach, we go to Santa Cruz Beach, and it was, it was so fun, but then on Thursday, we slow down, we take some time, we go out, so my group, my cabin, we go out into, into the night, we lay down in this field, we look up, and there's stars. They read us like maybe five chapters of, of a book in the Bible. I remember I'm just, I'm, I'm just laying down there and I'm like, you know, isn't this how life always should be? And it, it felt good. And then there's 20 counselors in the cafeteria and they ask us, Anybody who wants to give their life to Christ or feels like they haven't fully committed, you can go fully commit to Christ. And I stand up and I go. I remember my, the counselor who did it for me, his name was OJ, like orange juice. But he listened to me for all I had to say and I gave my life that day and it feels different than I ever had. It feels, it feels more real. Hey Anna, why was camp so meaningful to you? It was like a really fun experience. Um, I got to meet a lot of new people, but I think the main thing for me was the spiritual aspect. I was able to grow a whole lot closer to God in my relationship with Him. The way the whole camp was set up, we'd always have Bible times and like half the day was just spent with God and doing worship. I mean, that's the summer I think that I actually like really committed to Christ and became serious about my faith. Tell us about the impact of some of the counselors. Uh, the counselor I had, she was just like really sort of just like a role model. Um, she was just fun, uh, free, but like also like really serious about God. 
and we would have super great discussions like in small groups with her other leader and she just really just opened the floor for us so that we could we could talk about our faith and work through some hard things. Any memories of the speaker? How was the speaker? We had multiple. One of them just shared some like a, st a story about his daughter. Just the whole thing was so powerful that at the end he asked like anyone who is struggling in their relationship with Christ or wants to give their life to God, um, stand up. And he did this prayer over us, we stood up. Um, it, it was just so moving and I think that was kind of like a turning point in my relationship with God. Yeah, and what would you say to parents who are thinking about sending their kids uh, to camp but they're not sure? I would say definitely, definitely consider it because it might just seem like a fun time or like something that they can do for fun. It's just a really enriching experience for faith in Christ. I, th I know a lot of people who went into it not sure about their faith and they came out super strong Christians. And it's really good for building up your faith, especially if you're not sure about it. Are you looking forward to the next year? Yes, I'm really, really excited for it. As you can see, um, really honestly, as believers, we're supposed to sharpen each other. And camp will be a great opportunity for our students to not only sharpen their fellow students in our youth group, but encounter other students who are also on fire for God in their faith. And so that's what our hope is. Um, but if you have any questions or any concerns about the camp, uh, Pastor Matt actually um, has something he wants to share with you with his uh, experience with knowing about these camps. What would you say? The camps are, uh, I know this is Mount Hermon mm -hmm. and Mission Springs are the Christian mm -hmm. campgrounds. I know them really well. Uh, Mount Hermon is um, the one that I grew up going to every single year uh, with my with my uh, uh, church for family camp, um, and then uh, Mission Springs, um, and the denomination I used to uh, work at is is their uh, camp. So we did all kinds of retreats uh, yeah. there as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, I know a lot of the staff at these camps. I know the grounds, uh, so I can totally vouch for them. Yeah. Good yeah. theology, good uh, grounding, well-run programs good vetting of the people who right. work there, right. background right. checks, all that kind of stuff. Right. Um, they really they really create uh, high quality stuff. Right. In fact, right. uh, we had to like, grab and reserve spots because the, they like sell out and fill up so so fast. Right. Uh, uh, but, but I know the director of uh, one of the camps mm -hmm. and um, you know some of the people on staff the other. So. Yeah, so I've had the opportunity as well to talk to people in the camp um, and yeah, they're they're very detail oriented in the curriculum and how everything goes on. They have everything planned out from beginning to end. And so we're excited about it. Remember, it's June 23rd through the 29th. Uh, as far as registration, uh, we'll have the information in the parent email that's going to be coming out. Uh, we'll have the links provided for junior high and high school. Uh, we're actually also working on flyers to put in your hand as well. And we will be reminding you constantly because uh, we have a certain amount of slots that we're trying to fill in uh, for junior high. It's 18 uh, students we're trying to get. Uh, for high school, it's 28. And they could be from our youth group as well as their friends as well. And they also have camperships, uh, AKA scholarships as well. So, um, and also we're trying to do fundraisers as well if we can um, to also help with that. That's how invested we are when it comes to the growth of our students. So we're not just trying to talk about it, we're really trying to be about it. And so we need your support and uh, we want to come together because it takes a village. Uh, to get our students to be able to grow in Christ. And so that's what we're trying to do. And so we look forward uh, to hearing from you, any feedback, um, and let's come together and let's make sure we get this done.